Hello and welcome back. Okay, let's see what's going on now. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my ships over here for the moment. And now, I kind of want to go after a nation in a war, but I made his way until we unify all of Norway here. Okay, let's see. I could get a claim on this location, however, if I do that, I'll have to wait 10 more years for my next war, and my character will probably be dead at that point. I never know when he'll die or not. So I suppose for the moment, we're going to go ahead and go back over here, raise up my personal levies, and continue to raid for a little bit longer, and then in time we'll go ahead and begin our own war once I can get a new ambition. But it looks like we're actually losing a battle against who? Let's see, these fellows over here, so I'm going to go ahead and get a ship and ride back there and beat them up. And so that's what's going to happen there, I'm not going to let my own country lose to those fools there. I need to take this location too. I'm considering taking... oh, I cannot. Oh, right, because our levies are raised. I would like to kill him. Alright, now let me look over here. He's north, so I can't mess with them. That won't happen. I could take out Ireland. That's always a possibility. So my daughter-in-law is sending her husband, my son, to go fight the battles for her. His martial capability is not too bad, so that's not too bad overall. Alright, I have quite a few soldiers. Let me get a little bit more money, because I'm going to need many more mercenaries to help me win in the future. Alright, Hellman is going off to fight. So are you, old man. Let's see, Odir's still alive. Good. Or is that a new Odir? I have no clue. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and raid a location. I'm not sure where yet. I could go after England, but... I have a bit of a tie with them. Scotland is pretty much gone now, so I can't worry about them either. Brittany, I'm not too worried about them. I would like to take these locations up here, but I know I cannot. Let's see, Shetland. Hostess Island. Let me think about that. I could take this one out. It's a safe place up here. I would like to take Iceland. Let's see, we are winning that war, are we? Actually, we're not doing that well, so I'm going to go ahead and just take them out then. Because they are plaguing my people. Let's go up here now. Right up here. Come on. Are we in the North Sea yet? Not yet, probably. Almost there now. And then we'll just go after them and help out our own side and win a battle or two. Because they're really not doing too well overall. Okay, let's take this army. And go over here now and battle these guys at Haligalin, and we are fighting them at the moment. This victory should be very easy. There's really no reason for them to do well against us. We outnumber them, and we have a higher quality of troops, or we should anyway. Yeah, I may just help my kingdom unify for the time being. Nordlin, ha! Huh. It's more Norden you could ever get. Oh, a one-year-old died in my dungeon. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put a little kid in. Oh, hi there! Oh, Berto, you're my prisoner now. Interesting. Well, don't mind if I do. I'll take your money. Don't mind me. Let's go ahead and take out this location now. Killed my troops, I will kill you. I've got a little bit of gold there. Not too much, but a little bit. Alright, I wish I could loot them, but I know I can't. Alright, let's go down here now and finish them off. Look at them trying to run back. Or run elsewhere. Yeah, they're running elsewhere. He's almost lost the war completely. You're welcome, Queen. Alright, now we're back over here, retaking this location that they lost to them. I'm actually shocked they managed to win. Even in that one location. Okay, so we've won this war. Time for me to go back home to my ships now. My son was born to Hellman now. Oh, great. That's my grandson. And he's in the line of kings for England. Well, that's not too bad. I have really powerful friends, or at least really powerful family members. Okay, let's see, I'm going to upgrade my church town. Actually, I'll upgrade my fortification. No, I don't need to. I don't know why I did that. Kind of a waste of money. Let's see, I'm going to upgrade my town market then. Okay, good, my forces are back. So you're going after this location, Hordaland, over here. Well, since I'm here, why not? Let's go. Alright, so now we're winning over here. I'm going to have less than 1,000 troops by the time I get back to raid, which is unfortunate. Ooh, now they're fighting us. Not happy about that. 
I have a weak claim. Oh, hello. Really, I have a weak claim over here on either Wells, Ireland, or England, but they only have parts of everything but Ireland and Wells. Let's see. I don't want to fight them there just because that would be a very drawn out war and I don't have the troops to really conquer them quickly. I could probably get over 3,000 troops but I'm not too fussed about it right now. I have a claim. What's interesting though? My daughter-in-law. <laughs> Hi there girl. I'm married to my son. Alright, you're of age now. I'm not going to have you married just yet but let's see, what can you do over here? There's a lot of children. You're the heir. Let's see, will you marry my daughter? You will! Matrilineal? Okay, no. I was pushing it, but at least I will have a daughter marry into their line now. Fantastic, we're doing pretty well now. Okay, they're getting married. You're a chancellor now. Pretty queen. Let's see, strong arm. Erickson has become chancellor for half pretty England. Huh. Your own wife is making you work like that. She's a mean one. That she is. Okay. Let's see. I'm almost done with these fellas. Oh, go away. This is my battle. Mayor Sunni. Sunni. Sunni Huni. Now, see, I want to invest in my other provinces. However, I'm a bit worried that I'm just going to lose them all by the time my leader dies here. Alright, so we have one. I wonder if we can just disband here. Okay, yes, we can. Let me have my men rebuild their numbers. I'm pretty sure they did already. Oh, hello. Another child. Well... Named after me. Not bad. Now, where are you from? You're from over here. That's not too bad. We could take that. We could easily take that, certainly. But that would be within the du jour of England, most likely. Or even Scotland. That would be an issue. Let's see. Who are you at war with? You're at war with... Okay. Truce with Baldur of that location. That's not me. You're attacking the King of England. I could join his war. Let me bring my ships back down here. Okay. Now, if I make this claim, I get it through her, my daughter-in-law. Subjugation of England. I can do that every 10 years. 100 piety. That's not too bad. I, I could beat him. I could really beat him. But... If the war gets the king ends, then I will no longer be able to fight that one out. So I'm not sure if I want to do do that quite yet. I might have to wait a little bit. Let me go ahead and lower these for now. Oop. Let's get into a friendly port. There we go. Okay. I'll wait to see for the, for the time being. So let's see. Gavelkind. I'm going to lose it all to Helmand. A temple and a city. That's not bad. I'm not too fussed about that. I really want, want to go fight them, but I'm just so worried about them losing that war by the time I get there. That would waste my 10 years that I have. To a paragon of virtue. That's your current ambition, I believe. I think you're getting close to it. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go after a new location, maybe over here. Yeah, these guys. I'm going to go ahead and expand our kingdom a little bit. Look at them. Wow. Quite the little force. Okay. No, you will keep your job. I'm going to go ahead and summon up my soldiers now. There we are. Let's bring them all to Hordalin. For the time being, anyway. It takes a little bit to get them all down here, but they will be here in time. Come on now. Alright, you're going after Shetland now. That's an interesting location to take. She's doing quite a bit of work. I wish we could reform our faith quickly, but I know that won't be happening anytime soon. Come on, get together. Almost there. They're going up north. Uh-oh. Well, we should be able to take them out quicker than they could take us out. I have quite a few troops. Oh, hello. You can now marry the heir to that kingdom. Matrilineal? No. Okay, well. Good work, children. You're doing well. All right, now my army's together. Let me go ahead and make sure. Yep, I have a decent leader for most of it, except for my own king, who does not... No, 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 king, king. Stop that. You're old. Not a good leader. For, well, for war. You're a great leader, just not for war. 
He's done a lot to set up his children though. I mean, most of them are married to powerful people. Like, she's married to this guy who's taken over. Oh, man. What happened? Okay, well, he did have most of Scotland. He's nothing now. Hmm. Yeah, he lost a lot there. Okay, so, well, he was doing really well. No longer. So you're married to a prince of England. My son Thor died, which is sad. She's a chiefess now, which is not bad. Let's see, my son is king, but of course when he dies, I'm pretty sure that... Where's the heir? Where's the freaking heir at? I have no clue. Alright. Let's see, Baroness over here. She's a Baroness now. My son is married to a princess of England as well. So, my line is pretty set here. Really powerful line so far. Alright, let's go after them. Are they going after- oh, they are. Okay, hold on, hold on here. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that in just a moment. Let me hire some mercenaries. Alright, cheap little mercenaries here. Wait, 168? That's wh what I just hired? Are you kidding me? Well... Should've saw that one. They're reinforcing right now, so I guess they, they were beaten on quite a bit. That's a bother. Okay, well... Let's go after them. Maybe they'll reinforce in time. I'm still making more money, thankfully. Alright. Good work, good work. You lost my court. That's okay. Alright, now Baldur is a paragon of virtue, thankfully. He can pick a new ambition. I'm going to go ahead and let him try to become the king of Norway. I doubt that will happen, but it's worth a try. I need even, even more money. Let's see. One moment. Okay, let's see. What else is going on here? Right of war. Forgot all about that. Who lost what? Oh, right. I lost that location of Hydemark because of my mercenaries. Uh, that's darn dirty mercenaries. I'm about to lose a little bit of money, but once they have a few more in their number, then... I mean, I'm not going to recruit a new band. I'll just wait for them for a moment. Alright, we took a kid and we put him in a dungeon. I'm feeling pretty good about life now. Oh, look at them. They're coming after me, but it looks like... Let's see. Are you going to help me out? My own people? I think we lost that one. No, they are helping us. Okay, good. Good. Let me go ahead and get rid of those mercenaries now. They're not helping out too much. Okay, so we have a little bit more to go. Then we'll be done with this location. Let's see. We're about to claim two new provinces for my kingdom here, which is fantastic. We're slowly going on that pathway to unifying all of Norway, which is really my, my first goal. Even if I'm not the ruler, I want to make sure our kingdom is strong so that we can expand. I mean, at any point, keep in mind, I'm one of the most powerful nobles in my kingdom. So at any point, I can try to take over, and it'll probably go pretty well. So I'm, I'm really not too fussed right now. If I'm the ruler or not. In fact, it'll probably be more of a pain if I was. <laughs> we just took a baroness. Oh, we're gonna have a great block later. Let's see. Looks like you lost your land too. Man, she's a war hungry lady. She's just been going nuts. Let us hope so. Good, good. Oh no, it looks like my my people were not helping me out. And let me go back to my military. Next time, I'm going to check out the troop number before I... I'll, I was like, man, it's so cheap. Now I know why. There we go, 1,800 troops. That's much better. Okay. Did we beat them? Okay, we beat them here. Okay, let's go ahead and move back over here. Send in these 1,800 troops over here to go fight them. And they're fighting them now, and clearly they won. So now they're retaking these locations. Look at that. We're just expanding and beating and just taking all they have. If you want independence, you're going to be in big trouble then. I actually enjoy not being king. Kind of like working behind the scenes to make everything work is kind of satisfying in a really strange way. I guess it's because you can focus on what's more important, at least in my view. Let's see. Alright. Well. Mine. Now I have too many locations under my name. Two weak claims can be... Oh, hello, you're now known as the Cruel. I don't want either one, though. Oh, those are my two claims. Okay. My domain is too big, so I had to give out a few provinces to other people. I could give one to a child now, but I really don't want to. 
I need to really figure out what to do about sorting out my kingdoms like this because really it's going to cause a problem in the future. Alright, so I gained two new lo locations, I know that much. Why aren't you dead yet? I want your land. Oh! I captured him. I forgot about that. I could, let's see, ransom, release, no, execute, maybe, ransom, 70 gold, that's not too bad. I don't want it though, but let's hold a great blood. I love those. Those are fun. Apparently I can't hold one right now. That's a shame. Okay, let's see. I have too many lands, clearly. I don't know who to give this to. I need to look at my court then, see if I have anyone who is content and not liable to betray us all. Wait, can I give it to women? Now, that would be interesting. Let me go ahead and look at this real quick. Let me look over this. Let's see. I don't want any of my children to cause me issues. Wait, you're not a woman? I mean, let's see. You, young child. Well, let's see. No, women cannot hold these titles. Or I, I at least cannot give them out like that. Let's see, you're my chancellor. You're mystic, chaste, patient, proud. Envious, oh, that's never good. We don't want an envious fellow. It's very old, too, anyway. Could give it to Hellman. I mean, I could do that for the time being, anyway. Give him, let's see, Trongdalog or whatever. He would like me a lot more. He's not a bad kid. Hmm. He's not even my heir. Strong arm is my heir, so I really don't mind that too much. Let's see. Oh, that's a tough choice. I'm really gonna, gonna have to learn more about how this works with Gavelkind. Makes it very difficult. I just want to reform our faith and our moral authority is even lower now. We lost a holy war at some point. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Apparently I control one holy site. Oh yeah, I took one under control over here. I'm keeping that one then. Let's see. I need to look at my characters in my court. That might be a lot easier. Someone with low intrigue would be nice. Let's see, you're not the right one. Oh, here, here. Let's ch change it to Mel. Adult, yes. There, that will quicken things. Child of a concubine, it's Helmand. Maybe I will give it to Helmand for now. Would my son betray me? I hope not. Alright, Helmand, get out. I love you, boy, but get out. Let's see. I'm going to give you that location. Yeah, I'm going to give you that one. So go. He's now a chieftain. Lost a few people in my courts. I have one too many locations still because of Gavalcon or whatever. So I have one more location to give out. Let's see, who's, who's in my court who I do not hate? I only have two sons, which is really a shame, and the rest are daughters. But of course I was able to forge a lot of friendships all over, which is nice. Let's see. Heir to the County of Vestfold. I could give him that one. King, son. Oh, I can't give you Jack because you're the king. That's a shame. Let's see. Could I give it to the queen? I don't want it, to be honest. Not right now, anyway. Queen, can I give you things? Can I give you land? Declare war. Huh. That would be amazing. But no, I won't be doing that. Send gift? No, I cannot. Okay. Let me go back to characters, then. Give okay, one to Hellman, right? Unpredictable leader. You're envious, right, right? You're that old man who's envious. Deceitful, trusting, lustful. Not too bad, I guess. You're not too bad at all. You're 42. Alright, let's see. I'm going to give you a landed title. I'm going to give you... Let's see, Rogaland. Do I want Rogaland? That's over there. I'm not too fussed about that. Let's see. I take that. I'm back to my four provinces now. One's a bit further, but at least I have a holy site directly under my control, which is really what I wanted. I'm not sure how I would be able to maintain that, but it's, it's a nice thought. Okay. Modifier to all units and holdings controlled by this religion. Wow. That's pretty nifty. Let's look at my military. Can I have a bigger force? I cannot. My army levies are now a bit smaller, unfortunately. Not too much smaller, but they're a little bit... Okay, so we've taken a new location for our kingdom now. I can even declare a new war. Go after Nordland over here. I might do that in time. Let's see, declare war. Subjugation of Norway. Yeah, I, I could do that. I could really do that. 
I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, though. My character is now 57, so he's a lot older, but he's gotten really far with his own land and kingdom. So I'm going to go ahead and see all of you later, and until then.